Saigon. Shit. I'm still only in Saigon. Well, like like you see, you know, it's a major city, so we have to assault with the tanks. We roll in, roll in the streets, so uh, they send us in first to squat, make sure that there are no, uh, no little... Uh, no Vietnamese waiting with the B-40 rockets to blow the tanks away, so we clear it out and we roll the tanks in, basically blow the place to hell. When we're in Way, when we're in Way City, it's like a war, you know? Like what, what, what I thought, what I thought about a war, what I thought a war was, you know, was supposed to be. Uh, there's the enemy, kill him. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, we're the best. I mean, all that bullshit about the Air Cav. When the shit really hits the fan, who do they call? They call Mother Green and her killing machine. Do I think America belongs in Vietnam? Um, I don't know. I belong in Vietnam. I'll tell you that. Can I quote LBJ? I will not send American boys eight or 10,000 miles around the world to do a job that Asian boys ought to be doing for themselves. Uh, we'll probably sleep inside a house and we'll just occupy it and make the best out of it. Try not to destroy it. We'll go in there and keep our trap together. <laughs> Personally, think uh, they don't really want to be involved in this war. You know, I mean, like it's, it's sort of like they took away our freedom and gave it to the to the gookers. You know, they don't want it. They'd rather be alive than free. I guess. Poor dumb bastard. Well, the ones I'm, I'm fighting at are some pretty, pretty bad boys. I'm not real, uh, I'm not real keen on some of these fellows that are supposedly on our side. I keep meeting them coming the other way. Yeah. Marines will sleep anywhere. We'll sleep on glass, we'll sleep on rubble. It, it, it really doesn't matter, wherever we need to sleep. We, we're gonna get our rest regardless, so. I mean, we're getting killed for these people and they don't even appreciate it. They think it's a big joke. Well, if you ask me, uh, we're shooting around gooks. I mean, to go through something like this, as life-threatening as it is, you become closer. The bond is, is unreal. I don't think it can be matched by any other job. And, well, it depends on the situation. I mean, I'm, I'm here to take combat photos. But if the shit gets too thick, I mean, I'll go to the rifle. What do I think about America's involvement in the war? Well, I think we should win. It's been tough. Uh, we've had to do roof-to-roof -roof clearing, uh, blowing holes in the doors, through walls. We've come upon uh, several deceased bodies that were here from a couple days before. Um, it's been tough on the guys, but you know, we've carried through and we finally got to our last part of this uh, mission. I hate Vietnam. There's not one horse in this whole country. There's not one horse in Vietnam. There's something basically wrong with that. <laughs> well, if they send us more guys, maybe and bomb the bomb the hell out of the north, they might uh, they might give up. I wanted to see exotic Vietnam, the jewel of Southeast Asia. I uh, I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. We've come over here. We've done what we're told to do, um, and our mission is to come over here and, and lift, you know, the veil of oppression. And right now, it really might not seem that way because of all the destruction you see around us, but it's just all part of the process, just looking for the enemy, weeding them out, ridding of them, and then letting the people come back in here and giving them a chance to rebuild. <laughs>